couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to read it to you. Because after the response that you had last night, I think this is, it's for the water, wider body of Christ, but I think it pertains to us here right now. And in the dream, we were in a big house, and a man and a woman came in. And they were staying there for the meetings, but they were so tired. They just wanted to lie down on the couches. They said that, we said, your room is ready, and you can go in there and have a nap. And they said they were too tired to get to their room. And both laid down on the couches and went to sleep immediately, although there was lots of noise in the room, with people coming and going and others getting a meal. When dinner was ready, we tried to wake them up, but couldn't and wondered if they were dead, but we needed to go and eat and go to the meeting. When we came home from the meeting, we checked on them. Sure enough, they were dead. But for whatever reason, we said, we'll deal with it later. And as we became more busy, they just lay there. On the third day, I noticed that the two dead people's face color was changing and getting pink. And not that deathly gray color. And I walked over to them, and I commanded them strongly, wake up yes. and come back to life in the name of Jesus. And they did, and they sat up, and I was very excited. And as I woke up from the dream, I was really excited. Ah, wow. So my granddaughter, I won't read you all of her interpretation because some of it I believe goes to the wider body of Christ. But the, the, the big house is the house of revival in Toronto, we believe. As a result uh, of neither eating or resting in the place of intimacy, they were too tired to go into the bedroom where intimacy takes place, right? And they couldn't make it there. They didn't want to go there. They just wanted, they just wanted to collapse. And so they died. Spiritual death, spiritual dryness. Interesting that on the third day, their color returned and I commanded them to live again. This is what I think it means. The revival has passed its 20 year mark. If each decade, decade represents a day, then you are now beginning Ooh, in the beginnings of the third day. Wow. And I saw last night, as you came up, that there was some dryness, that there was tiredness, that there was weary in well-doing. Right. And as um, Brian was singing that song at the beginning of yesterday, last night, I didn't get... I kind of hesitated too long <laughs> and it didn't come up right away but I kept feeling to tell you that the lion is roaring again and the lion is roaring again well and those ones of you I want you to put up your hands that came up here or any or all of you if you want to but I want to I want to speak life over you. I want to tell your spirits uh, to wake up. Father, I just thank you for that dream. I thank you, Lord, for showing me um, what you were doing. I thank you for Brian's sensitivity to sing that song. And Lord, ah, uh, I just say, wake up!
Right.